you're listening to Praying with Power and Purpose. Shalom and the Lord bless you, dear ones. This is Z back with another prophetic update. I've been a dreaming again. And so I have some things to share for us and some things specifically to pray over. So let's go ahead and just enter in. Lord, we just thank you for dreams. We thank you for visions. We thank you for wisdom, understanding. We thank you for allowing us to partner with you to bring your will into this earth. And I declare your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in the United States of America and in our political system. We give you permission and agreement to shake everything that can be shaken, to break it down completely, tear it down, strip it down and rebuild it according to your ecclesia model. And Lord, I just decree that people who are knowledgeable and understandable and believe in you will rise up and take their positions as they ought. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you and bless everyone who is hearing this now and in the future. And I just loose awakening angels to you to bring you into the revelation and knowledge of what it is you need to understand so that you can begin living and thriving in kingdom life. I declare this all by faith in Jesus and seal it by Holy Spirit. All right, loved ones. So. We have a conference going on in Tucson, Arizona, April 29th through 30th. You can go to www.1123.life and register for that conference. It will be a tremendous blessing to you. We are teaching you how to make enough money so that you are living an inheritance for your children's children. So much money that your money's making money and you don't have to get up out of bed each day. So much money that your children don't have to work and your grandchildren don't have to work, but they will simply because the process of human productivity is a God thing. He means for us to work the land, do something with our hands, even though we've already got enough in the bank for multiple generations. So that conference will be a tremendous, tremendous blessing to you. If you want to get out of this demonic Babylonian system that is meant to tax you constantly to take your wealth, then you definitely want to attend this conference. It's not going to be online, but it will hopefully be recorded. We don't have um, the best tech on location set up just yet. That's why it's not streaming. It's only in person this time. But praise God for that. If you can be there, you're going to be blessed. You're going to walk into that millionaire flow and higher from that moment forward. I'm telling you, it's going to be really good. And um, just so you know, which I mean, I, I, I hope that most people know this, but I know there's a lot of people out there that don't know this and they don't even pay attention to it. But do you know that you are a corporation born into the United States, which is why on your birth certificate, it's your name is written in capital capital letters. You are a corporation and that's why you're assigned a number and a social security number and all that stuff. It's for the purpose of taxing you. There's no other reason. So each person that's born into to the United States, they are expecting to get minimum $700,000 from you throughout your lifetime in tax revenue. That's what they're planning for you to bring into them, you know, to bring out of your hands, you know, you over your lifetime, they want at least 700 and something thousand dollars from each and every individual born into the United States of America. That's the purpose of the birth certificate. And they switched that up when they changed America into a corporation and did all this crazy stuff. But the thing is, is that we don't have to put up with and take all of this stuff for lots of reasons. Number one, the citizens have more power than we realize we have. There's so many people that just sit by and accept anything and everything instead of um, speaking out against things. You don't, They don't understand if the people realize that there are more of them than they are in control and just stop allowing Um, these politicians to pass any kind of law that they want, it would have to stop. But the thing is, is that the, the enemy, the demonic is very good at causing strife between people. And as soon as strife enters, agreement ends. Well, if we have agreement, then we're unstoppable. The Bible says that when the Lord's talking about the law of agreement around the Tower of Babel, the Lord said, let me go down there and see what is going on. Because if these people are in such harmony of mind and spirit, nothing will be unstoppable for them. Okay, so that's the type of power people can have together. So we can change our nation. You can change your personal life. You can change your family. If you find somebody else to agree with, and you don't even have to have another human person, if you agree with God's word, that can be manifested for you. And then it can begin to manifest in realms outside of just your personal life, because that's what he makes available to you. That's the kind of power that we have as human individuals. We need to start learning that and stop being desensitized and you know, falling asleep under all this entertainment that the world has released to us and start doing what it is that God created us to be and to do. We have power, folks, and it's more than just, um, you know, trying to 
red pill people on social media and things like that. We can actually speak and decree. And because we are kings and priests through Christ Jesus, those things will come to pass. It may take a little bit of time, but if you can find yourself a little home church, like which is what we have, and you can find some agreement, man, you can start taking territory. And that's what we have been doing. We've been leveling people up spiritually and financially through our ministry, even though it's very small. It's like four people run this ministry Listen, you wouldn't believe we have changed people's lives and helped people with bills, all kind of stuff, just since we got up and official back in July of 2021. And if we can do that, the four of us can make that type of impact all over the United States because we help people from Washington State down to Florida. If we can do that, just think about if we increase and we grow how much more we can do and how much change we can bring to this to this world and to our nation. Listen, you know, we know that the enemy is never going to be gone off the earth, right? We know this. We understand this. Even when Jesus comes back and he has his millennial reign on this new earth and new heavens, the enemy is still going to be there to give people the opportunity to say yes to God or to say no. So the enemy will always be there. But the thing is, is that they are not more powerful than we are. It's just that we have to actually acknowledge the power that God has given us and then put it to work. I've been telling people this like over the last three days, stop hearing things and not moving in a corresponding faith action. So what you just learned, some of you just learned for the first time that you are a corporation and that you are expected to give the government at least 700 and something thousand dollars over the course of your lifetime from your sweat and labor, right? So if, if that didn't rub you the right way, then the least you could be doing is following up by sharing that basic common knowledge should be common knowledge with other people so they can start realizing it. Think about it. If everybody in the United States was fed up with that and we wanted to go to the government and get rid of the IRS, it could be done because the IRS isn't actually even um, constitutional. It's something that the powers that be put in place so that they could tax the people, so that they could inflate the people. What inflation serves to do, like Zig Ziglar said, is it eliminates the middle class. It takes from the people who are doing a lot of the labor and gives it to the people who are making decisions. Well, we need to learn to start making decisions and stop just sitting by watching Netflix all the time and letting the world happen around us. That's ridiculous. And that's why we're in the mess that we're in right now. And those of you, um, like I was saying, learn about what's going on over there in Europe in, in Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine is a laundry. So stop just yelling about, oh, I'm with Ukraine. I'm with Ukraine just because that's what the media is telling you to do. And do some research. Do some very simple and basic research. Ukraine is one of the um, biggest human sex traffickers there out there, right? There are so many women, prostitutes, and, and human traffic people that come out of Ukraine. It's crazy. Right. So you're with the people all of a sudden now because the media is telling you with the people. Well, what were you doing before? The sex trafficking did start when the war started. It's already been going on over there. You know, the money laundering that Ukraine does for other nations didn't just start when this war started. It's been going on for decades. So why weren't you with the Ukrainian people before? Stop just bandwagging and listen to what the Lord is releasing out of heaven. The Holy Spirit is constantly talking and Holy Spirit does not bandwagon. I can tell you that. All right, let's get here on this um, prophetic word or this dream that I had. So I dreamed about Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene today. They're both in uh, politics. Um, I just learned when I was tagging Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene in my dream that she is a representative. And I don't know what state she's from or anything like that. And Lauren Boebert, I believe, is the same thing. They're both young women and very vocal and very rambunctious. And the Lord, it appears to me by what the dream that I had, that the Lord wants to use their voices to begin uh, making a change and making a wave in politics and in the United States. So we're going to pray for them. And I just ask that you come into agreement with me praying for them. And if you want to read this prayer, you can go over to zarbanksbooks.com, click on um, prophecy and then click on intercession. And it's the post from March 27th, 2022. All right. So I don't know much about Lauren Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene. I know about Lauren Boebert that at the that State of the Union address when Joe Biden was up there just lying through his teeth that she was saying, well, what about um, the, pe the the 13 soldiers who died, Americans who died, you know, when you were pulling out of Afghanistan and things like that. So she's pretty rambunctious. They were calling her a heckler, which wasn't a heckler. She's, you know, asking a legitimate question. What is going on here? You're not even mentioning them, but you're talking about your son that died decades ago that nobody knows about. 
you know, but everybody has had to watch what happened to these soldiers and stuff like that. And then Marjorie Taylor Greene, the only reason I know about her is because um, on the Elijah list, one of the Elijah streams, there was one of the prophets that mentioned her name and she was in a group of um, of politicians who bought some stock and made a chunk of money with some advanced knowledge, which I believe is illegal. And um, apparently she had spoken out against that before because that's why they were bringing her up in the, the prophetic word. And so I hope she has dealt with that. And, and you have to go back and watch the Elijah Streams video. I don't know if I'm exactly accurate. That's what I remember from watching that video. And it was anywhere from like four to six months ago that I saw that clip, I believe. So you can go back and check and see for the accuracy of that. But let's go ahead and pray for these ladies. Father, in Jesus' name, I lift up Lauren and Marjorie to you. I plead the blood of Jesus over them, spirit, soul, and body, and declare a bloodline around them that cannot be crossed but upon pain of death. I decree your will for them in this season. I agree with your will for them in this season. Excuse me. I decree your kingdom come and your will is done in their lives personally and professionally. I ask for an awakening awakening angels to inhabit their homes and offices and loose understanding of your desire to use their voices in this battle. I ask for angels to set guards over their mouths so that they will only speak your will, word, and wisdom in every situation. I loose the tongue of the learned to them by faith and decree exposure will be released through their lips. I loose the spirit of prophecy to them so that they will stand in the public forum and release the word of Yahweh. I decree they will humble themselves under your mighty hand and receive your promotion and exaltation. I decree they will repent of anything necessary and agree with you going forward. Thank you, Father, for your son, Yeshua, and for using women to set a course of direction and correction in these days as you promised. All praise, honor, and glory to you, King Jesus. Amen and amen. And just continue to pray for these ladies and watch for um, how they're used in the future and in the days um, to come. Just see the things that they're speaking look at the reactions to people. Don't make any rash judgments. Just look and see what's going on and then um, let the Holy Spirit speak to you and tell you what's actually happening. This is something that happened to me the other day. So I saw a clip of Joe Biden saying at the end of his speech, for God's sake, this man can no longer remain in power. And everybody's like, oh, he's talking about Putin. That's going to make Putin mad. He's trying to start a war. But when he said that, when I heard that clip, what I heard in my spirit was him. He was prophesying out of his own mouth, his existence, his reality. For By God's sake, Biden cannot be in power any longer. It was like the way I took it is it was like one of those things where he's reading things off the teleprompter that he's not supposed to say. So that's how it came across in my spiritual ears. It didn't come across that he was referring to Putin. What it came across was that was the Lord's declaration for him. He cannot stay in power any longer by God's sake, by God's word, you know? So we have to be using our spiritual ears, spiritual sight, and not just making rash assumptions and definitely not repeating anything that we receive in this unreliable lying media. And if you're a believer and you're still sitting up there watching that and you actually take what they say to heart, um, and without double checking and triple checking somewhere else, you are going to end up in deception. You don't want that. When you end up in deception, the enemy can rob you blind. They can steal from you, kill you and destroy you. If you're walking in deception, you need to come out of deception and begin to walk in the spirit in every situation, every day, all the time. All right. So I bless you in Jesus' name. I pray something here. Um, helped you in some way, I'd love to hear your feedback and definitely share this material so that we can have the full ecclesia praying for these two women who have an opportunity to make a change in our nation in this season, if they will submit and allow the Lord to use them, to work through them, to speak through them and to deliver his word, you know, unashamedly, unabashedly, you know, you can go up there and be bold in your own words, but it's a whole nother level when you can be bold and deliver what the Lord has said. All right. So again, I bless you in Jesus' name. Don't forget to visit us at www.1123.life and stay tuned for a brief message. God bless you. Hi, this is Zari. If you've enjoyed supping on the Word of God with me today, I invite you to partner with me in this kingdom work. Your partnership in this fertile soil gives you legal access to every anointing my ministry operates in. Multiply, because that's my decree for you. Thank you and be exceedingly blessed in Jesus' name. Copyright 2022, Zari Banks, Inc.